error. Grasshopper disassemble. Reassemble. Huh? Reassemble. Ever since I was a kid, I always wanted my own Johnny Five. He was awesome. He was smart. He seemed like the best robot companion that a man could get. So one day I'm strolling through Facebook and I see a random ad for a website called wantedmall.com. I'm a bit of a geek and I search out a lot of unique cool things from my childhood and usually more so than not, they are very expensive. But this guy was the exception. That's right people, only 108 bucks for the privilege. Not too shabby, honestly, not too shabby. Uh, they got the build it yourself kit, two variations, $69 and $88, and the punk kit for 68 bucks. I will be picking that up at some point. I love the whole battle warrior Johnny Five setup. But yeah, these prices seem somewhat reasonable, especially when this thing, <laughs> something I truly want, is $240 fucking dollars. I'm sorry, I'm probably still gonna end up getting it, honestly. It's too cool. I love Back to the Future as well. The overall construction of this guy is pretty top notch, especially for the price you're paying. Now, some of the paint may not be the best, and some of the some of the stuff may not look perfect. You got screws showing and things like that, but overall, really not too shabby. This guy runs on two nine volt batteries, and I lost the screw that holds the bottom of the uh, battery door on, but it's fine. We got some scotch tape on there. You also have a nine volt battery for the remote. Uh, fit and finish is a little rough on the remote. It sticks up a bit and bulges, but eh, can't complain. It works. To power it on, you have one simple switch at the bottom, and he's lighting up and ready to roll. Here's a quick tour of Johnny Five's body. The arms pop right off. Got a little bit of putty in there holding them on. And, uh, you know, like I said, the paint may not be the best, but uh, overall, it doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too bad. Especially when there's no other options for Johnny Fives on the market. Got the toolbox on the back that came uh, disassembled. Had <laughs> no disassembled. You can pop that off, pop it on. You can add the laser. There is uh, the laser that he uses is inside the toolbox, and you can swap that out, move it around, uh, replace the uh, lunchbox with the laser if you want. Got a few options. Pretty cool. Very, uh, very authentic and. Uh, true to the film. I like that. I like that. Very well done. The tracks are also a welcome surprise. They function quite nicely. Although on some uh, concrete surfaces, you're going to have a little trouble getting over certain things that are laying on the ground. But yeah, they look and function nice. There's a few movable parts on old Johnny Five, including his head, as well as his uh, robot fingers, I guess you could call them, and his arms. They have a little bit of travel as well. The remote is simple enough to use. You can pivot left or right, hold both backwards or both forward to go backwards and forward. Pretty easy, pretty easy to maneuver old Johnny Five. And you can also twist his torso left or right, as you can see right here. So not bad, it's kind of limited, but uh, at least he can do a few things. The guy can actually move around. So that's always a good thing. That's always a good thing. Oh, oh shit, oh shit. I'm sure you noticed the speaker cut out right down there at the bottom. Johnny Five can say three phrases. I was hoping it would have been a little bit more, but hey, I'm happy he can say anything at all, to be honest. Johnny Five. Incorrect. Scene one. Johnny Five. Incorrect. Scene one. Overall, I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with my purchase. Um, 108 bucks isn't too bad, especially when you're the only person really providing any kind of real life Johnny Five action, people. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I like it. I like it. Uh, one thing to know, though, the uh, nine volt batteries, I just put some fresh ones in yesterday, played with it a little bit, played with it a little bit. This video, they run out quick. This thing sucks up some power. It makes sense with all the moving parts and so forth and the voices and the LEDs. It all adds up, but as of right now, as you can see in this video, it's um, it's running on low juice. So yeah, it, it's more of a novelty thing than, than anything. That's why I bought it just to say, hey, I have a Johnny Five. Keep it in my dorky geek collection, along with my Gears of War Nasher and my Ninja Turtles comics and <laughs> things of that nature. But yeah, if you are a big fan of the movie back in the 80s, 
I think that you would love this. And like I said, the guy that the guys that are building them are not trying to rape everybody on the price, which is respectable. Yeah, but all in all, like I said, happy with my purchase. And I hope I can only hope they cook up a short circuit three. It would be awesome. Just me geeking out a little bit on some nerddom. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really appreciate you watching. Y'all stay sexy out there, YouTube. I'm gonna go acquire more input.